Hi friends and welcome to Book a Day for Little Learners. Friends, today we're going to read the story called Chicken Little and this is one of our stories in our farm series. So if you've missed any of those books, please check them out. I appreciate any of my subscribers that have come back for another story today. If you aren't a subscriber, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you also hit the bell, the bell will alert you when I post a new video, which happens every single day. Let's read about Chicken Little. As Chicken Little was walking in the woods one day, plop, an acorn fell from a tree on his head. Help, cried Chicken Little. The sky is falling down. I must go and tell the king. Friends, if an acorn falls or if a leaf falls and hits you, is the sky falling? No, Chicken Little's being silly. Chicken Little raced off to find the king and met Henny Penny. Where are you going, Henny Penny? said Chicken Little. I'm going to the woods, Henny Penny replied. No, Henny Penny, don't go there, said Chicken Little. The sky is falling down. I'm going to go tell the king. So Henny Penny joined Chicken Little and off they went to tell the king that the sky was falling down. On the way, they met Cocky Locky. Where are you going, Cocky Locky? said Henny Penny. I'm going to the woods, Cocky Locky replied. No, Cocky Locky, don't go there. I was going to the woods when I met Chicken Little and Chicken Little had been in the woods and the sky was falling down. We're going to tell the king. Friends, is the sky falling? No. So Cocky Locky joined Henny Penny and Chicken Little and off they went to tell the king that the sky was falling down. On the way, they met Ducky Lucky. Where are you going, Ducky Lucky? said Cocky Locky. I'm going to the woods, Ducky Lucky replied. No, Ducky Lucky, don't go there. I was going to the woods when I met Henny Penny, and Henny Penny had met Chicken Little, and Chicken Little had been in the woods, and the sky was falling down. We're going to tell the king. So Ducky Lucky joined Cocky Locky and Henny Penny and Chicken Little, and off they went to tell the king that the sky was falling down. And on the way, they met Drakey Lakey. Where are you going, Drakey Lakey? said Ducky Lucky. I'm going to the woods, Drakey Lakey replied. No, Drakey Lakey, don't go there. I was going to the woods when I met Cocky Locky and Cocky Locky had met Henny Penny and Henny Penny had met Chicken Little and Chicken Little had been in the woods and the sky was falling down. We're going to tell the king. Friends, is the sky so Drakey Lakey joined Ducky Lucky and Cocky Locky and Henny Penny and Chicken Little and off they went to tell the king that the sky was falling down. On the way they met Goosey Lucy. Where are you going Goosey Lucy? said Drakey Lakey. I'm going to the woods, Goosey Lucy replied. No, Goosey Lucy, don't go there. I was going to the woods when I met Ducky Lucky, and Ducky Lucky had met Cocky Lucky, and Cocky Lucky had met Henny Penny, and Henny Penny had met Chicken Little, and Chicken Little had been in the woods, and the sky was falling down. We're going to tell the king. So Goosey Lucy joined Drakey Lakey, and Ducky Lucky, and Cocky Lucky, and Henny Penny, and Chicken Little, and off they went to tell the king that the sky was falling down, and on the way they met Gander Lander. Where are you going, Ganderlander? said Goosey Lucy. I'm going to the woods, Gander replied. No, Ganderlander, don't go there. I was going to the woods when I met Drakey Lakey, and Drakey Lakey had met Ducky Lucky, and Ducky Lucky had met Cocky Lucky, and Cocky Lucky had met Henny Penny, and Henny Penny had met Chicken Little, and Chicken Little had been in the woods, and the sky was falling down. We're going to tell the king. So Ganderlander joined Goosey Lucy and Drakey Lakey and Ducky Lucky and Cocky Lucky and Henny Penny and Chicken Little and off they went to tell the king that the sky was falling down. On the way they met Turkey Lurkey. Where are you going, Turkey Lurkey? said Ganderlander. I'm going to the woods, Turkey Lurkey replied. No, Turkey Lurkey, don't go there. 
I was going to the woods when I met Goosey Lucy, and Goosey Lucy had met Drakey Lakey, and Drakey Lakey had met Ducky Lucky, and Ducky Lucky had met Cocky Locky, and Cocky Locky had met Henny Penny, and Henny Penny had met Chicken Little, and Chicken Little had been in the woods, and the sky was falling down. We're going to tell the king. So Turkey Lurkey joined Gander Lander and Goosey Lucy and Drakey Lakey and Ducky Lucky and Cocky Locky and Henny Penny and Chicken Little and off they went to tell the king the sky was falling down. Is the sky falling down? No. On the way they met Foxy Loxy. Where are you going Foxy Loxy? said Turkey Lurkey. I'm going to the woods, Foxy Loxy replied. No, Foxy Loxy, don't go there. I was going to the woods when I met Ganderlander, and Ganderlander had met Goosey Lucy, and Goosey Lucy had met Drakey Lakey, and Drakey Lakey had met Ducky Lucky, and Ducky Lucky had met Cocky Locky, and Cocky Locky had met Henny Penny, and Henny Penny had met Chicken Little, and Chicken Little had been in the woods and the sky was falling down. We're going to tell the king. Now Foxy Loxy was a very clever and hungry fox. So he offered to show Turkey Lurkey and Gander Lander and Goosey Lucy and Drakey Lakey and Ducky Lucky and Cocky Locky and Henny Penny and Chicken Little, Chicken Little the quickest way to the king's palace. Do you think Foxy Loxy is going to trick all of the animals? But instead of taking them to the palace, he led them to his foxhole. Just as Foxy Loxy was about to eat them all for dinner, the king's dogs ran by barking and scared him. You can see the dogs right there. Turkey Lurkey and Gander Lander and Goosey Lucy and Drakey Lakey and Ducky Lucky and Cocky Locky and Henny Penny and Chicken Little all ran as fast as they could to get away from Foxy Loxy until they finally reached the woods. As they huddled under a large oak tree, the wind blew and acorns fell to the ground. Chicken Little looked up at the sky and realized it was that it wasn't falling down at all and that it was only an acorn that had fallen onto his head. Chicken Little felt very silly for telling his friends that the sky was falling down. But Turkey Lurkey and Gander Lander and Goosey Lucy and Drakey Lakey and Ducky Lucky and Cocky Locky and Henny Penny all learned an important lesson that day. They no longer believe everything they're told without thinking for themselves. Friends, what could they have asked early in the story when Chicken Little said the sky is falling? What would have been a really good question for them to ask? Why do you think the sky is falling? What happened? And then Chicken Little might have said, this fell on my head, and he might have shown them an acorn, and they might have said, oh, that just fell off a tree. The sky isn't falling. Friends, that was a fun story about animals that you would find on a farm. And there are a lot of characters in that story, right? Chicken Little was the first animal that we were introduced to. And I would say probably Foxy Loxy was probably the smartest because he kind of knew that there was something a little bit not quite right with Chicken Little's story. But he was outfoxed because the dogs came by and all of them ran away. So he didn't get to have them for his meal. Friends, I hope you enjoyed that story about Chicken Little. It is considered a classic story about learning to think for yourself. So I hope you enjoyed Chicken Little. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do so. And the bell will alert you to when I upload a new story every day. And until then, friends, I will see you tomorrow.